you're anything like me, occasionally you play the, what if I won the Powerball lottery game, right? Well, let me tell you, if you did win the Powerball lottery, this is the home that you would purchase here in Las Vegas and you save some money in state taxes. Now, this is one of the most architecturally significant homes that you will ever see, ever built in Las Vegas. Designed and built by Blue Heron, this home took over four years to build, two years of just conceptual design work. We know where every shade and shadow is going to fall, whether it's a December morning or an August sunset. Think of this as Mercedes F1 vehicle. All the technology and the budget that goes into producing that machine eventually disseminates down into the passenger vehicles that we enjoy today. Here in the Vegas Modern One, this is the magnum opus for Blue Heron. So much of the design language and the features that we're going to showcase today has already made its way down into their Nexus line of community homes and their elite line of custom homes just like this. But come on, you didn't, you didn't come here to listen to me talk. You wanna see a property tour. So let's have a property tour, shall we? Now let's have that property tour. Okay, now in most mega mansion homes that you see, we have this grandiose entry. This clearly is different. So this portico is designed specifically for Blue Heron's design language. And part of that is compression. We're taking this outdoor atmosphere with all these monolithic homes and we're gonna compress the space. And it's kind of a sensory reset, which allows us to enter into the property space. And now you can actually get a greater sense. One of the main features of Blue Heron's design language is what's called biophilic design. Biophilic design is the incorporation of the outdoor elements and actual nature and bringing nature inside the living dwelling space. This is one of the greatest examples you will ever see of biophilic design. Now coming down here, we have our first reflection pool. Beautiful blue acrylic, which we're going to see as a theme. It is Blue Heron, of course, so there's Easter eggs to die for in this property. Now, first we have this step up onto the steel ledge area. Over here to your right, this is actually the garage. So this garage would house uh, five vehicles, but currently this is being used as the sales office for Blue Heron. In the future, there will be a six car garage and three more bedrooms outside where the motor court is. Now, coming down this way, Again, part of this biophilic design, we have this reflection pool, which is gorgeous, but let's take a moment to talk about this veneer. So this veneer, which is sensational, is actually called metaquartzite. Metaquartzite is actually metamorphic rock that's made out of sandstone. This is actually locally sourced from 30 miles away outside of Las Vegas. So again, this is bringing the natural elements of Las Vegas into this property. Just a sensational implementation. Now, as we come down this area, you'll notice that the reflection pool is sheathed in actual steel and it's rusted to give it that natural patina. So just a gorgeous organic look to it. Stepping down more stairs as we come through this reflection pool, you'll see we have another return with this gorgeous waterfall. Because this home is so open, it's vital that we have all of the sounds of nature, the breeze of nature, and you'll see over and over we have that. Right below us are these steppers that are embedded in this pool of water. Not good for tipsy nights, but absolutely sensational, the waterscaping in this property. And sadly, you'll never be able to recreate this property because we have a 600 surface limit on water. And let me tell you, I don't know what the square footage is, but it's probably more like 10,000 square feet of surface water. It's insane. Now, first we're gonna come into this executive office. If you're buying a $25 million home, the most expensive sale, may I say, ever of all time in the MLS, you're gonna want a home office. So this is an executive office so you can bring people into your property without them having to see your actual residence and living space. But let's take a look at this design. We have steel cladding here. We have burnished stucco ceiling. And this is, you're gonna see over and over. 
This burnished stucco ceiling is not only outside the property, but also inside the property, which makes that transition through the glass just absolutely seamless. Behind us, we have an outdoor retreat area so you can get a little bit of natural refreshment while you're working. We have two displays, and again, we have the Meta Quartzite that comes inside the property. You're gonna see this over and over, bringing that biophilic design of the outside inside. Over here, we have a little storage. We have an outdoor access door, and then we have an executive bathroom here. Nice little bathroom. We have a nice accent wall, some glass, the Meta Quartzite, floating sink, you get the idea. But now, let's start heading towards the actual inside of the property because you guys are in for such a treat. This is an incredible property. But this, this is what we came to see. Look at this view. This is called the Breezeway. This gives us unprecedented views of the entire Las Vegas Strip, the entire valley. And there's so many vantage points in this property. Again, two years of conceptual design. There's not one element of this home that hasn't been pre-thought out. Every view, every shade, everything was by design. Now, they even spent time to do solar surveys, wind surveys, so they know how this home's gonna respond. Now, right here, we have an automated slider track system. So normally, this would be closed if we have acclement weather, if it's windy, this would be inside the property while you're standing outside the property. But let's come check out this breezeway a little bit more. We still have reflection pools here, and then we have this massive and gorgeous reflection pool. And we have this ledge that brings us right out. And again, just a sensational, gorgeous view of the Las Vegas Strip. Okay, now let's get inside and let's see a little bit more of this biophilic design that we talked about. Here we have another slider that segregates the breezeway from the internal space. Again, you could choose how much you want open, how much you want closed. But take a look at this. We have a floating steel staircase, this gorgeous monolithic wall, and all this nature, all the plants, all this biophilic design. That's what Vegas modern design is about. And we're gonna discuss that a little bit later because Blue Heron actually patented the term Vegas modern. But this, this is what we're talking about. So we start off with the double height ceilings, all this open space, from every vantage point, we can see the entire Las Vegas Valley. Just incredible. Now, first off, like we normally do, let's kind of start off with the kitchen, even though we didn't start off with the kitchen. But come down this way, and let's discuss some of these design elements. Now, this kitchen has a triple island system. Hey, there's a lot of overkill going on, on this property, so just get used to it. One of the things about Blue Heron is not only are they design focused and they build, but they also have an interior design team. And it's in a complete facility. In fact, it's ran by a woman who was the senior vice president of retail for the win. And let me tell you, I've been to the facility. It first class top notch. So here, even this island, this is accented with the V. Again, Vegas modern, you're gonna see cues over and over again. We have the steel accent that comes to a V. The walnut, even here in the seam of the walnut, the seam is accented by a brass insert, gorgeous. Coming over here, we have a travertine counter surface island that was imported from Italy with an embedded sink, sensational. But this is extra, again, this, this $25 million, this is what you get. Now check this wall out. This wall was custom created because the, all the appliances in this home are by Wolf. Well, the designers, we're able to figure out that Wolf makes this singular espresso maker with a glass frame. Well, they contacted Wolf. They found the supplier of that glass. And in such, they were able to create this gorgeous wall for the refrigeration that matches perfectly the Wolf espresso maker. So all you have to do is tap on this right here and it opens the refrigerator. And that's not the only one. But again, just how gorgeous of an implementation is that? Now, coming back over here, let's talk about the third island. So again, we have that same travertine that we saw on the second island. We have our Wolf double ovens here. We have a four burner induction cooktop, a two burner induction cooktop. We have our griddle and we have embedded ventilation. But the showstopper is, you'll see over and over again as a design feature, part of their design language in Blue Heron is 
so many of the properties have views. And in order to really appreciate those views, what they do is they implement these glass backsplashes. So this one, while some have been smoked, this is a black glass backsplash. And right here, while you're cooking, you're staring at the Las Vegas Strip. Again, it's a sensational design element, so well thought out. Now, underneath the kitchen sink area, we have our gorgeous walnut cabinetry. We have our uh, panel dishwasher. Very, very lovely. All right, now the last island. Oh, did we forget something? Yep, the outlet. Oh, one neat feature. I was kind of wondering, wh where are the outlets in this place? Well, what's neat is part of Blue Heron's design feature is their counter surfaces tend to be 1cm. We're used to seeing an apron that's like maybe three inches thick. They like that minimal design. And we're gonna talk more about the concept of minimal design and ve uh, the Vegas modern concept that Blue Heron trademarked because it's really important to understand the distinction. But underneath this counter surface, we have all of our electrical outlets that are hidden but what a classy and unique way to put them so we don't actually have to see them above the counter surface. Now over here is a little crazy, man. It's $25 million, man, you gotta throw some stuff in. So this island houses two of these touch panel displays. So if you just can't bear to have your iPad actually on the countertop, because how unsightly is that? That's, that's, that's for heathens, right? Here we have these embedded displays so you can have your recipes, you can surf the web, you can do whatever you want, and it's clean, seamless, and elegant. Now this is neat. We forgot to close the door, Ashley, but here, if we had the door closed, this, again, little accent for blue, little ode to Blue Heron, this is the chef's kitchen back here. So this is the guts of it. Now, <laughs> there's a couple of things that are really, really neat here. Now. Obviously, this looks like a refrigerator. It is a refrigerator. So we have our dual sub-Z refrigeration system. Eight. But check this out. This one's a little bit different, but when we open this refrigerator door, it's not a refrigerator. In fact, this is actually your pantry. So again, there's just Easter eggs everywhere in this property and I love it. So now coming down this direction, if you've been watching me for a while, you know, what do I demand over a $3 million home? two dishwashers. Well, you only give me one out there, but I'll let you have it because we have the second one right here. Now we have a gorgeous white quartz counter surface, but one of the neat things about this is they did this half backsplash, and here you can see we have a smoked glass accent. No views except for refrigeration, but what a classy, beautiful look, and it also makes this feel a little bit more expansive since this is like a narrow area. This feels much larger. As we come down, we have more pantries. We have a 60 inch uh, uh, range. And then over here, we actually have warming drawers. So we have two warming drawers. Uh, keep your buns warm, you know what I'm saying? All right, again, we have the 60 inch range. We have the pot filler. We have a gorgeous embedded ventilation hood by Wolf. And then as we come down here, we have our microwave. Ooh. Ah, come on. If you've been watching me, you know, I'm silly like that. I like the ooh-ah sound. But above it, we have our steam oven. So very popular, very, very neat. I think we've seen the chef's kitchen. We're, we're good. But well, even... Actually another Easter egg right there. Oh, this is neat. So this panel right here, which is reflective glass, actually is a pass-through from the pantry. So if your people are in there, they can pass back and forth. Just kind of a neat little trick. All right. We have steel cladding here but now you're in for one of the coolest features of this entire house. I'm telling you, you have never seen a powder bathroom <laughs> like this. this. This is like Instagram, TikTok worthy. So first off, you can't even tell that this is even a door to a bathroom. This is a 1,000 pound steel door, but you can actually open it really with one finger. It's very well designed, but this is massive and monolithic come in here. This is insane. When we come into this powder bathroom, it is insane. First off, very dark. We have LED blue accents everywhere. Even the sink. This is the coolest trick feature. We have this gorgeous mirror. We have our actual sink receptacle. But to use the sink, we turn this on. And now we actually have our faucet hidden behind the mirror. We have a gorgeous black toilet. We have automated for the flushing. But the coolest part is look up. As you look up, it is 32 feet high and it has what's called a sunroof uh, skylight, which also illuminates at night. Just the coolest 
coolest powder bathroom I have ever seen. Um, it'll be a while until we see something this neat again. All right, coming down this direction, and we're gonna head this way, right? So coming down this direction, this is actually the laundry room, but let's be honest, I don't know if you're doing laundry, if you can afford this house. So this is probably gonna be your housekeeper's like break room. It's probably what it is. But in the housekeeper's break room, we have a gorgeous sink, gorgeous granite counter surface. We have two displays, opposing white quartz with a waterfall return. We have our washer dryer, but this is a cool little area. If you have fur babies like my deuce, you have a little door and you can keep your dog kind of quarantined over in this area. They can actually have access to go outside to go potty. But I love this. Again, I love dogs. And this is such a cool feature that we're seeing. We have a dog wash station. So your fur baby can get in here. You have a hand wand. Great, great. And we even have a pot filler that is used here as an implementation to fill their water bowl. So again, the, the attention to detail here is, is insane. But again, we have that gorgeous outdoor area, which we'll see from another vantage point here in a moment. Now over here to your right, this would be the entrance to come from the garage if it weren't being used right now as a sales office. Okay, coming down this direction, you can kind of see the reflection here. This is part of the Savant system. This is all of your audio and visual equipment. Don't know if you can actually see it, but it's uh, pretty substantial. All right, coming down this direction, we have an exterior door that leads out to that area we just saw, but let's check out the dining room. First off in the dining room, from a different vantage point, we have this wine wall and it's really a, a, a wine closet. Of course, it's climate controlled and it's just a gorgeous design piece. Looks sensational at night. Now, coming over into the dining room area, we've got everything blown out. You can see there's a nice little breeze going on today. We have that outdoor space that we were talking about, but this is a good time to talk about the ceiling. Uh, part of the Vegas modern design language is what's called the Vegas modern ceiling. And this is a good vantage point for it. So we have these singular coves embedded in the ceiling, which houses all the linear air registers for the HVAC, all of your lighting features, and of course the plumbing fixtures for your sprinkler system. So you'll notice as we go through the house that you don't just have your normal cans for recessed lighting. They're all embedded in these singular coves. Now, coming over in this area, we have a nice little outdoor kitchen, and you can see even this beautiful pencil track for the automated slider system. It looks like there's nothing even here. It's just gorgeous and seamless. Now, I know that you're cheating going, oh my God, look at that view, but stay with me now. Stay with me. Focus, focus, focus. Now, even over here, we have a pocket slider system, which is tremendous overkill. You would never normally see that expense paid for this area, but this is kind of neat. We have another bathroom hidden behind this walnut wall. So in here we have a nice, a little bit more normal. Ladies, it's dark in that other powder bathroom, so you're not gonna be able to get your makeup done at all. But here you have plenty of light. It's neat, it's cool. It's a, another powder bathroom. But now let's get to some of the cool stuff. So. Let's dip around this way. We have our first usable pool over here. And in case you didn't already see it, what is that? We have an embedded fire feature inside the pool. Don't know that we've seen that before. Absolutely sensational. What a cool party trick. I just can't get enough of that. Now over here in this area, we have the bar area. So again, little accents. We have the blue acrylic for blue heron. We have a microwave, nice bar area, nice setup. And that leads us to what's called the digital den. So this area is gonna serve everyone here in the digital den. You can see this track right here for the automated pocket slider. We have another pocket slider that leads outdoors. And if you're cheating, there's the entire Las Vegas strip right there. This is the place. Now, normally a home like this would have a dedicated movie theater, right? But that's, that's, that's old school, right? That's old school. Everyone has a movie theater. This was created differently. Again, part of this biophilic design language is bringing nature and the outdoors indoor. So while we are indoors, we're also part of the outdoors and this movie theater area is sensational. Behind me is a 13 and a half foot LED video wall, over 160 inches. This sound system and wall, just for this, 
$250,000, a quarter million dollar video wall system. Absolutely sensational. This is a good place to watch the Super Bowl. All right, guys, we've seen this part of the home. Follow me and we're gonna go and see the other side of the home, which houses the primary bedroom. Okay, we've seen to your right, this is the main living area, but over here to your left, this is gonna be where the primary suite is. So let's follow this road and see what's going on. Now, first off, gorgeous. We have great use of mirror over here. And actually, that's actually not a mirror. <laughs> we'll get to that later. But I wanna talk about this burnished stucco. We talked about it in the ceiling, but look at this entry. This is so gorgeous. This burnished stucco was hand trobbed by an artisan here in Las Vegas. I can only imagine the time and the expense. But above us are these gorgeous bank of skylights. So again, coming into your primary suite, it feels like you're coming in from outside. So as we come down right here, this is another automated pocket slider. So you could have all of that open and enclose just the primary suite area. But come down this direction. So as we enter the primary suite, we have the meta quartzite that we saw from outside. We've talked about it three times. It continues because again, biophilic design, indoor, outdoor. It's upward illuminated by a bank of LED lighting. We have our gorgeous polished concrete floors, which we'll probably talk about later, but look at this. This is your primary suite. So as we come down here for warmth purposes, we have hardwood flooring and we have this gorgeous reflection pool. So this is a non-functional but gorgeous reflection pool that you can see from a vantage point right from your bed. Over here on this window, we have a slider so it's open. So when it's quiet, you can hear all the water just rustling, just very organic, very beautiful. But I'm sure you saw this, so let's talk about this. Uh, nice party trick. So we have this, uh, uh, this, this display that pops up out of the ground. What's neat about this is, unlike most displays that are housed in cabinets, this actually is depressed into the foundation of the home. So this actually goes subterranean <laughs> below the foundation only to deploy up. So if you wanna watch TV in bed, you can watch this or you can lower it and just take in the gorgeous, gorgeous sights. All right, now that we've seen the bed area, let's check out the retreat and we have a little redundancy here. Now we have these gorgeous steppers, again, biophilic design. In between these steppers, we have the rocks, which, you're gonna see a lot more in the newer Blue Heron design since we were limited, again, like I discussed with the waterscaping. So now a lot of this biophilic design is using rocks. Here in the retreat area, we have another display that pops up. You can keep it down for the views, very nice. This is neat, we have a pocket slider. This brings us out to the outdoor lounge, which we'll see in a moment and try not to get too ahead of me. Now, try not to look over here, guys. I'm gonna bring you back for a better reveal. So part of the way I do these tours is you get to walk the house with me and experience it with me. I want you to get a better sense of space and volume and what the floor plan is like. So coming down this way, we have a full length mirror, but check this bathroom out. Are you kidding me? Now, first off, we'll come over here. So first off, again, biophilic design. We have all the rocks embedded through the pavers, or the steppers, I should say. And right here, this is actually a track system. So these are actually sliders that come to a 45 degree or 90 degree angle. So again, if it's hot, if it's cold, you will be indoors. But the whole point is to allow it to breathe. So we have our floating tub, but this is a cool shower. So we have a curbless entry into the shower. And how neat is this? This is a Brizzo uh, fixture. So we have this beautiful, seamless, singular shower head. Again, absolutely sensational. One thing that's neat is while this basically is just a bench seat so you can shave your legs or just be lazy and relax. What's also cool is it's functional. Not only is it a bench seat, but you can keep your towels warm. So if it's a little chilly, you can have a nice warm towel. All right, we're gonna back up a little bit because one of the show, oh, we forgot this, Ashley, come on. All right, this is kind of cool. So if you can't bring yourself in the morning to walk all the way across the house to get your espresso, this is super trick. You can actually push this in or you can actually open these up and display an actual kitchen area. 
So here we have a nice travertine counter surface. We have our sink. We have our Wolf Espresso Maker. Sensational, right? Okay, coming over to this area, now we have... <laughs> this is cool. So while we have some cabinetry, we have this beautiful floating travertine counter surface with a return waterfall. It's even reinforced with steel here. We have our undermount sinks, but this is something you probably have never seen. Now we have our vanity mirrors. And what's really cool is while we have a mirror on each side, right here in the middle, we have this gorgeous vantage that takes us through the outdoor lounge and we can see the Las Vegas strip through it. But if you just can't bear to have an obstruction, check this out. With one press of a button, all of these mirrors will reveal or they'll tuck themselves into the cavity in the Vegas modern ceiling. Once these are revealed, or once these are actually tucked away into the Vegas modern ceiling, you have this unobstructed view of the outdoor lounge as well as those views of the Las Vegas Strip. Just, just sensational. So let's come down this direction here and let's check out this outdoor lounge. So not only do we have our tub and shower inside the property, we have our bathtub. I believe it's a $15,000 bathtub, by the way, but we have our bathtub and you might notice we have an awful lot of controls. And the reason is directly above us, kind of hidden in between these steel support beams are two rainfall shower heads. So again, on a day like today where it's 70 degrees and gorgeous, you could shower al fresco. But coming down here real quick, this is just kind of neat. When we come down this direction, we have more outdoor space. We have our retreat here for the primary. You can kind of relax and have a little serenity here on our day bed. But this is a really, really neat feature. So these chains, you would never know, but these are actually called rain chains. These rain chains kind of replace gutters. So when it does rain, like the six times a year that it rains, the rain will actually cascade down these chains and make a gorgeous sound. So just again, we're trying to encompass everything in nature and bring it into this property. And that's just an incredible way to implement it. Okay. Now we're gonna dip through again. We're gonna go through the bathroom and we're gonna check out the primary closet because there is a neat party trick going on in the closet area before we wrap up the downstairs. So coming again over the steppers, now we're gonna step up into the closet area. You'll even notice we even have a walnut tre uh, treads when we step up, just nice detail. Coming down here, we have our walnut surface for the countertop. We have modern, lovely cabinetry, but check this out. Right here, hidden within the cabinetry, if we pop this out, this reveals a door and this is actually your panic room. Now for security purposes, I'm not gonna show you what the panic room looks like, but it does have an awful lot of security features in there. So if you do get into a jam, you know where to hide. All right, coming down here, full length mirror. We have more storage, beautifully and open. We have a gorgeous uh, granite counter surface, walnut cabinetry. We even have, again, our signature blue acrylic, blue heron design. But above us, all the way here, I mean, this is about 15 feet long. We have a gorgeous skylight system. So it's letting in all of this beautiful natural light even into your closet area. So one of the things that I was laughing about was the fact that I thought this was a mirror, but in fact, this actually is a pocket slider. I mean, how many times have you seen a pocket slider in a closet just for aesthetic purposes? Incredible. Now we're almost done, but like Steve Jobs, there's one more thing. Come on. One thing that is so cool. I told you there's a bunch of Easter eggs and I actually forgot. I'll be honest. I forgot. But Ashley reminded me and this is so cool. There's no way that I could leave this out. Now, as we come down here, you can clearly see a gorgeous, gorgeous window leading outdoors. But you know what's behind here? This pocket door will open or close. And here, <laughs> here we have the water closet. This is your toilet. So while you are in the toilet, you can literally look out and it's one way glass. Clearly no one can see you on the loo, but you can appreciate all this outdoor nature while you're fertilizing. All right, guys, we have now seen the entire first floor of the property. Now let's go upstairs and see what's going on on the second floor. All right, welcome to the second floor. Now, one thing we didn't discuss is 
clearly this home has an elevator. So this elevator will take you from the first floor all the way to the Sky Lounge on the third floor, which we will see in a moment. But now let's check out this hallway. So as we walk down this hallway, again, we have our blue heron accents below. We have our burnished stucco veneer, which is a little bit darker gray than the roof line. And we're gonna continue down this direction, but what a gorgeous, gorgeous perspective we have from the volume ceilings as we look down into the family room and the kitchen. It's just a sensational space. Over here on the left side, we have our breezeway with our reflection pool, but this is one of the party tricks. Let me tell you, I love this house. This is my least favorite part of the entire house. Here we have a glass catwalk. Um, I am not a fan, I'm, I'm afraid of heights and I'm not afraid to admit it, this is terrifying. <laughs> they say that part of biophilic is peril to make you feel uh, a little sense of danger. Yeah, well, it worked. I don't like that one bit, not at all. Okay, we have hardwood flooring through most of the upstairs, but clearly, clearly, look at this. We have a 35-foot glass wall. This is sensational, and I mean, this is the showstopper. So this is called the Sky Suite, and many people actually prefer this to the primary suite downstairs. Hey, 25 million, you can have it either way you want. This coffee table is neat. This actually tilts up to reveal a display so you can watch television and still have the strip in the background. Gorgeous. Now, as we walk down this 35 foot long wall, notice all the biophilic rocks and natural plants. Again, bringing that outdoor space, even on the second floor here, it's sensational. Wonderful job of the interior design. Again, we have the Vegas modern ceiling housing all of our HVAC and lighting features. We have a retreat here, but we'll, we'll show you that in another moment. Now, as we come down here, we have the burnished stucco, we have the walnut, we have a nice fabric texture. Now we come into the bathroom. Now, first off, um, this is incredible. It's Vegas. If you're a thruple, you can have a great game of footsie. This is an incredible bathtub and it is monstrous, monstrous. Now over here, this one's pretty neat. Now, while this is white quartz countertop, which we've seen a million times, what could be super exciting about it? Why am I taking a moment to talk about it? You would never, never, ever notice this unless you had the right vantage point. This was custom fabricated. The apron of this counter surface was custom fabricated into a V shape. Again, bringing the Vegas modern implementation, which is pretty trick. All right, guys, coming down this direction, we have our makeup vanity with a nice mirror. Behind us, this glass area is the breezeway that we've seen a million times. Coming down here, we have a nice little wet bar. So we have a sink, we have a nice closet. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a very adequate and nice closet area. One of the things in this house, I just started pushing things because at a certain point you realize that there's so much hidden. This hidden door reveals your water closet. Again, very nice, very clean, very seamless. All right, over here, we have a gorgeous shower. So again, we have a zero entry in. We have a nice linear drain, gorgeous, gorgeous book matched accent wall, two shower heads, what you would expect. All right, now let's come over this direction. Now, as we walk across the steppers and appreciate that biophilic design, again, we have the burnished stucco here, but look above we have an outdoor shower. We actually have two shower heads. So again, every single area, every single bedroom has that indoor outdoor biophilic implementation. Now in this lounge area, this retreat, gorgeous retreat. Again, we have the strip views, but I want to take a moment to talk about this. While this looks just like a design accent, this is actually functional. Remember before when I told you that they spent two years conceptually designing this property? This is one of the issues that came up. When they did the solar surveys, they know where the sun is going to rise in December. They know where the sun is gonna set in August. This perspective, you can see all the mountain line in West Las Vegas, but it cuts off right at the sunset line. So in summertime, when you have that brutal direct sunlight, this actually, gives you the views, but cuts off that brutal direct sunlight. All right, now let's continue through the sky, uh, the sky suite, and let's see a little bit more of the second floor. So again, I mean, taking in this 35 foot wall, uh, this, is, this is a to die for bedroom. 
Now again, we have our pocket slider here. We have the biophilic steppers that brings us to this area. And this is a great, great outdoor lounge area. Again, we have multiple outdoor lounges. But here we have plenty of seating. And again, from this perspective, you can see the entire Las Vegas Strip. Super bright today, so I gotta wear shades. But again, these views, this is what you pay $25 million for alone. Now, I told you that I don't like heights. Come along with me, guys. Here, this is one of the signature pieces of this home. We have this steel cantilevered catwalk. And over here at the edge, we have steel reinforcement and glass. I cannot tell you how uncomfortable this makes me right now, but this is where everyone comes and takes selfies whenever they have events and parties. You have just unobstructed views of the entire valley. It's, it's gorgeous, I can't stand it. So I'm glad we got that part of the show over with, guys. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments section below. All right, now we're gonna continue along the steel catwalk and we're gonna see a little bit more of this upstairs area. Now over here to our right, uh, this is another thing that I want no part in. This is an automated slider because Lord knows you're not walking over here and trying to close it yourself. Don't call me when this breaks. I want no part of it. Again, part of the structure of the property, perfectly embedded in, but let's check out this area. So here, clearly we have a pool table, a little fun area with these amazing views of the strip. Again, just like the island we had downstairs in the kitchen, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous island top with a steel V fabrication. And even here in the middle, this is gorgeous. It's wrapped in Bentley leather. It's not Bentley leather. I just made that up because it sounds like, sounds like it should, but it actually is leather. Don't know about the Bentley part, but it's awesome. Now over here, we have a really nice, simple wet bar. So we have our sink, we have our cabinetry, we have three displays, more walnut, very, very nice. Let's pivot over this direction because this is kind of cool. In this loft area, if you wanted to congregate and relax, we have plenty of seating over here. But one of the things that's really neat, again, Blue Heron has its own interior design team. So they were able to fabricate all of this furniture to wrap around the structure of the property. This beam right here, this post is actually structural for the property, just sensational. And from this vantage point right here, you can see the burnished stucco ceiling, which leads outside into the inverted butterfly roof line. Just a gorgeous vantage point. Now coming down this direction, this is interesting. So down here, this is going to be our third and last bedroom. Again, you start pushing things, seeing what happens. So if you push over here, oh, there's a closet. Come on in. Now, here we're gonna see some design features that have already disseminated down into Blue Heron's other properties. So here we have a very nice, lovely bathroom. But first off, we have that hand troughed burnished stucco accent wall. I can't get enough of this. I love it. And clearly we've been seeing it a lot, but this is a neat one. While we have a marble counter surface, we have this beautiful floating mirror, but then we have this glass partition. We just saw this in one of uh, the new Blue Heron communities for their production home in their Nexus line called Prado. And in that, they went ahead and used this glass partitioning to create a more open space. So you still have a little bit of sound isolation, but you have a little bit more openness. Coming down here, this is neat. So we have a curbless entry into this shower. So we have our interior shower, but again, it's all about the indoor outdoor relationship. So from this vantage point, you can see the indoor shower, but even from this bedroom, you can come outside and we have an outdoor shower. And even from this outdoor shower, I can see the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> like I told you, there has been nothing that hasn't been pre-thought out before this was even built. Okay, we're gonna come out and finish this second floor here in a moment. Coming in here, again, this is a great opportunity to look at the roof line, the burnished stucco, which leads out into the retreat from the second to third bedroom. Now this is another massive Blue Heron design feature. So above us, this is what's called the Oculus. Um, this Oculus is beautiful to let in the natural light through the roof line and allow the heat to diffuse from the fire feature below us. What's really neat though, is the fact that in one of uh, their elite signature line of custom homes, Blue Heron has a home titled Oculus, inspired by this. So again, like we explained before, much of the design that went into this property is what ends up in their other lines of properties. All right, guys, we have now completed the entire second floor. Let's go upstairs and let's check out this party area because this is very next level. So let's check out the sky deck area.
All right, guys, welcome to the third floor, which is actually a nightclub. But before we get to that, first off, we can see from this vantage point all the meta quartzite, but even these windows are automated. All the heat that disperses upwards can actually be ventilated out. So again, another very useful design trait. But check this out. <laughs> Haven't seen a bathroom quite like this. Again, this is a nightclub, but check out this bathroom because it's, it's different. Now in here, very dark, but we have a gorgeous, gorgeous sink. <laughs> Look at this. So over here, we have unobstructed views of the entire Las Vegas Strip looking into the nightclub lounge. But look, above we have five cans. These are actually shower heads. So I don't know why you would be taking a shower in the nightclub. We won't discuss that, but you could take a shower in the nightclub. Now, coming over to this angle, this is interesting. So in here, we have the toilet and it's all white. Vegas, come on. All right, now that we've seen this incredible bathroom that is unlike anything I've seen before, let's check out this lounge. So this is your nightclub. So coming over in this direction, we have this mirrored wall, which we just saw was the actual shower. Now, as we step up into this area, this is actually the VIP lounge. So <laughs> if you are so inclined, you could have a VIP lounge up here. This is actually a fire feature. So you could have fire as you're looking out and enjoying your views of all of Las Vegas. We have more seating for this gorgeous bar area. So we have a gorgeous polished black granite bar top. It's actually floating. Love the acrylic bar stools. You can see the embedded blue lighting, which actually can change color. So if you're a cheese fan and you want it red, you can make that red, you can do whatever you want. But coming over this way, we have just a sensational bar. So coming down this direction, we, we do have a dishwasher, so don't worry, I'm all right. But back here, this is so neat. Not only is this all steel, but we have three displays, so very, very neat. And then as we come down this direction, we actually have a secret hidden door. So this door actually opens up so you can actually walk back there. Why? Eh, maybe to fix a TV. But what I love the most is the veneer on the walls are actually this black faux fur, just kind of a neat accoutrement. Now over here, you can see our automated pocket slider denoted by the pencil railing that's seamless in the floor. We have these gorgeous views of the entire Vegas Valley we've seen over and over again. But this is a good moment to discuss the ceiling here. Here and going all the way into the entryway, this is all thermally treated spruce pine. So it will hold up, it will sustain during those brutally hot summer months and the pretty cold winter months that we get here. Now, coming down this area is is really neat. So here we have the sky deck. So this is an observation deck. So as we come up here, we have more biophilics. We have our river rocks. We have our plants. You can see 16 solar panels and more over here. There's actually 300 solar panels, which makes this home completely and utterly sustainable. But guys, look at this. I mean, you're on literally on top of the world. Complete views all the way from Lake Mead all the way to Summerlin. This is just sensational. So for 4th of July, there'd be no better place to watch the fireworks. All right, we have seen the entire inside of the property. All that's left is let's go and check out this backyard and see what clever design features are hanging out back there. All right, guys, now let's check out this outdoor. So again, where we started, this is such a gorgeous vantage point. So coming over the steppers, we have one pool over here. We have another pool over here. This is the pool that had the fire feature, which led to the digital den. Up here, we have the steel staircase that led us to that cantilevered steel case that I'm less of a fan of, put it that way. Now here, we'll see a little bit more later, but this is the lap pool. This is probably the most functional pool for outdoor. But let's check out this area over here. Now, from this perspective, we can see the Oculus. We can see the inverted butterfly roof line. We can see the meta quartzite. We can see the burnished stucco that's been hand troughted. Every design element in one shot right there. Here we have an outdoor kitchen. So very monolithic, very lovely. We have a huge, massive wolf grill. We've got an embedded underneath, undermount sink. We have a dishwasher. Hey, we got a dishwasher. 
tons of warming drawers, tons of refrigeration. Very lovely, but this is what's really neat. Over here, we have four display panels. So not only can you appreciate the game outdoors or whatever event you're watching, but you even have a jacuzzi. So right next to us is a jacuzzi. So not only can you be in the jacuzzi and watch whatever you want on television, you could also be served drinks directly into the jacuzzi. Very well thought out. I just want an invite. That's all I'm asking for. All right. Now, let's whip around this other way. Let's see a little bit more of this backyard. This is a lovely vantage point. Again, we can see into the family room. We can see the reflection pools. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, coming down this way, auditory, unbelievable. So here, we can hear the cascading sounds of the water as it cascades down the apron. Beautiful, beautiful. We have the biophilic rocks with the steppers. But this is an incredible, incredible area. Now, not only is this a beautiful vantage of the interior of the home, but this is one thing that we talked about earlier when I said that it took two years of conceptual design. Everything Blue Heron does is pre-designed and rendered into a 3D space. You can literally, they have an Xbox controller linked up to a virtual reality. You can even use an Oculus visual system. Every space in the property can be rendered and visualized so you know exactly how the home is going to be once it's built. So it cuts down on any change orders and you know what you're going to get before the shovel even hits the dirt. This is a prime example. Even from a seated position, if you wanted to eat dinner right here, from a seated position, you can see the very top of the surface of this lap pool reflecting the entire Las Vegas Strip absolutely sensational. This would have been virtually impossible to create without having pre-rendered and knowing the exact specifications. Now, as we come over to this area, we have a, the same level of redundancy as far as design. Now, this being a lounging seating area, this deck was raised to the exact specification so that when the interior designers built the furniture, we can sit and still see the entire Las Vegas Strip and see the reflections from this lap pool. Sensational. So here we have a fire feature. We have a multiplex display system so we can watch television out here. And even above us, even here, we have the Vegas modern design element for the ceiling. We have those singular trays that houses not only lighting elements, we also have thermal heating, and we have a mister system. So this is a wonderful, wonderful place to be on a day like today where it's just gorgeous out. So again, here we have our lap pool. Over here, we have the reflection pool, which leads us to the primary suite. And this is the breezeway that is the famous breezeway that leads us to the Las Vegas Strip views. Just sensational. Coming down this direction, we have a nice seating area. We have a great grassy area for fur babies. So that's lovely. More seating area. And then of course we have chase lounges over here. Again, this is just an unbelievable vantage point. You gotta love this house. Guys, we've seen the entire inside. We've seen the exterior now of the property and backyard. I am dying to hear what your comments are. I can only imagine, because even being in this space was just an incredible experience. Special thanks to the entire Blue Heron team, from Tyler Jones at the top, all the way down to the construction crew who spent time with me explaining some of the construction methods. This is a wonderful company. I've had the privilege and pleasure of attending Blue Heron University, seeing their facilities, meeting everyone involved, and I can tell you without compromise, this is the preeminent builder for luxury homes in Las Vegas. So if you are looking to build a custom home, if you're looking to purchase a semi-custom home like their Nexus brand, Holler at your boy, Brian Lebo. I'll be glad to take care of you. Thank you for watching. We've got many more Blue Heron homes on the horizon, but I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.